Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel Nikhil PT Tips and Tricks. In this tutorial, I am going to share some tips regarding PT listening. In listening module, we have eight sub-modules, but I will cover other modules too that include listening scores. Yes, I'm talking about repeat sentences, retail lecture and answer short questions also. Firstly, understand in PT listening, we have eight sub-modules in which four sub-modules are important. Remaining four sub-modules are not really important. However, you are targeting eight each, seven each, whatever. You should not focus on unimportant topics and I'm going to cover important topics today only. Important topics are summarize spoken text, filling the blanks in listening, highlight incorrect word, write from dictation, repeat sentences, retell lecture. Unimportant topics are answer short questions, select missing word, highlight correct summary and multiple choice multiple answer and single answer so we will focus on important topics only let's start with the summarize spoken text let's start our today's session here is our website nikhilpt.com if you did not register here yet you should register here because if you will register yourself for the first time on our website you will get a free scored mock test scored mock test is really important actually you know you should understand the time management and other things right so here are some packages that you can choose 39 australian dollars in which you can get unlimited 24 7 access from our website and you can practice a lot and you will get marks also we have study plans as well if you don't know how we can study how many questions we have to do in a single day so we have pre-planned study plan for you you can choose accordingly now let's start our today session so here is our website's um, dashboard I will start with the summarize spoken text I will cover each and everything in detail and this is my best video in which I am covering all the modules related to listening scores so please watch my video till the end if you really want to achieve good scores in summarize spoken text what you are doing firstly I will let you know you can use any template doesn't really matter you know and do not think if you have template you can get good scores the main thing is that how you are putting your sentences or phrases or keywords into the template doesn't matter if you have 90 score or template you can get good scores no who told you in the classroom if there are 10 students right two are not passing other other students are getting a score two students are not passing doesn't make sense the teacher is not providing the best education to that two students. No, it depends on your performance, guys, right? So, firstly, what you are doing, understand your topic first, right? So, you know, you are lacking in listening section that you know that. But in which area you are lacking, you should know. Getting my point? If you are good at in the sum summarized spoken text, which means you don't have to waste your time in summarized spoken text you should focus on other topics so i'm going to explain so let's start about today's topic that is summarized spoken text you have you, you know it's uh, the summarized spoken text has 10 minutes i'm just stopping this audio yes so you have 10 minutes in which you will listen an audio approximately one or one and a half minute then you will write a summary between 50 to 70 words okay try to use first rule try to use connector before to start every line if you have template but you are not using connectors that's fine not a big deal but if you are if you don't have template you can use my template as well it's very simple let's understand which template is good every template is good the main thing is how you are putting or how you are writing your summarized spoken text you are thinking this template is 90 scorer getting my point but in the real exam you can write anything your marks are based on grammar mistakes, spelling mistakes, you know, and uh, comma mistake, where you are using uh, connector. Are you putting right keywords or not? Are you making good sentences or not? 
your scores are based on these factors only do not think you are using this template then you can get good scores doesn't really matter and listening scores are also included in other sections too that is a, that is the reason i was telling you you should understand which area in which area you are lacking so what you have to do firstly write anything if you are thinking we have to write keywords or phrases no problem you can write both so let's start our today's session first Venus, near Rotterdam, Europe's biggest refinery, owned by Europe's biggest energy company, never in its 115 year history has Shell made more money than it did in the first three months of this year. Shell made underlying profits of £7.2 billion in the first three months of this year alone. That's triple the amount they made in the same period last year. How come? Well, the global price of oil, already high at the end of last year as the world economy emerged from its coveted slumber, surged again on concerns that the conflict in Ukraine could see Russian oil supplies disrupted or boiled. Boycotted. Similar story for gas. The price smashed records earlier this year. Remember, Russia is the world's biggest exporter of gas, and Europe is its biggest customer. Those global prices have been reflected in UK forecourts and in UK energy bills. So what is Shell going to do with all that money? Well, in the first three months of the year, it gave over £4 billion to its shareholders, which, remember, include millions of UK pension savers, but it's also promised to invest up to £25 billion in the UK over the next decade, mainly on renewables and low carbon technology, but some new oil and gas to help improve the UK's future energy security. The government has so far resisted calls from opposition parties for a windfall tax on oil and gas profits. So, you can see, I got number of keywords. So, Firstly, understand how many keywords you need to write a good summary. If you have 7 to 10 keywords, it's totally depend on your template. You need to write minimum 50 scores actually, right? So, I have written these keywords. What you will write? Mostly write, uh, students are writing the, I'm just taking an example. The audio presented a lecture on Dash. Okay, so here you will put your topic here, like uh, Europe, 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 that's it. Maybe your topic is different, but in this sentence, is there any spelling mistake, grammar mistake? Getting my point, that is more important. What you are writing, that should be error free. And proof reading is very important after writing everything. Remember one thing, you have only 10 minutes. Mostly students will lag in summarized spoken text because they are thinking they have template so what students sorry what students are doing they are putting all keywords however sentence formation is not got right the speaker said biggest oil supplies new future and technology that is incorrect maybe you are writing in the last line in the middle or the first line if you are doing these things this is your lacking point so now what is the solution let's understand first so I will talk about sentence fragmentation. So what is sentence fragmentation? Sentence fragmentation means you are writing incomplete sentence. For example, walking in the park. Who is walking in the park? We are not defining here. I understand if your English is not good, you are watching my video, you are from Punjabi background or from Gujarati background, your English is not, English is not good, PTE is totally based on tips and tricks, but guys, uh, I know it's a computer based test, but if you are writing, then you should aware all the things. One number, if you are lacking, sometimes students are lacking with marginal scores, okay? So maybe this will be the reason. So fragment, walking in the park. So this fragments lacks a subject. Here I'm not putting any subject. 
as i told you before who is walking in the park if you will write a proper line i enjoy walking in the park right because she was tired incomplete she went to bed early because she was she was tired i'm just taking an example you are doing same thing in summarize spoken text as well fragment on the table the book is on the table so in the last example here you can see oil supplies new future what is new future you did not mention here properly you should understand it right so these are fragments after the rain stopped you have written one phrase but which is incomplete after the rain stopped comma we went outside now you will think if we have written keywords then how we can put it you have two options if you are unsure about spellings or you are not sure like how i can make sentence with this phrase do not write it if you are 100% sure about spellings and other things then you can put into the summarize spoken text and that should be an independent sentence definitely you will get good scores however you are using any template does not really matter so these are all fragments one more example hoping to win the game she practiced every day comma hoping to win the game in the beautiful garden with colorful flowers what is this we spend the afternoon in the beautiful garden with colorful flowers these are all fragments so you should understand do not think if you will put more keywords then only you can get good scores you are putting more keywords but you are doing many mistakes there are many errors in your summarized spoken text you will lose your marks one summarized spoken text is equal to 10 marks in which content is 3 marks and the grammar vocabulary 2 marks each you are learnt if you are writing 50 to 70 words and 70 words you will get 2 marks so summarized spoken text is divided into many things so you should understand so try to write good sentences try to make good sentences if you are not sure do not write it okay like like this the audio presented a lecture on europe so here europe i am starting with capital e because it's a noun i have uploaded many videos related to noun right the speaker talked about more money in 3 months more money in 3 months in oil you can put your own sentence on oh sorry my oh my god so in my website you can see the time is over unless near rotterdam the time is over so there is one advantage in my website in the case of summarize in text as well you cannot copy any line from the question what is the reason behind it because in the rare exam many students are unable to write summarize written text on time so here you can practice you will type then you will submit your summarized written text so here is the biggest advantage we have okay so i i hope you understand you just make the sentences right now moving to the next topic that is filling the blanks how you can improve filling the blanks guys in the filling the blanks you will have a question in front yes, of you the speaker will speak and you can see there are some blanks if you are new to pt so i am explaining if you know you know that right so this multi million selling the speaker will speak speaker will speak some blank as well how we can improve first step you have to be there presence of mind is very important in filling the blanks if you are missing any blank do not wait because speaker will not stop you have to you have to be with the speaker you know if you will miss where is speaker you can't judge where is speaker actually right the multi million selling internet let's take an example i'm going to play this one 
This multi-million selling internet book is still the ultimate handbook for novices and experts alike. It's written in plain English. It covers everything from getting online for the first time to news feeds. This fully revised guide covers all the latest sites and crazes. Whether you've never sent an email or you just want to keep up with the latest developments, this is the book for you. See, you can see filling the blanks are very near. Maybe chances are very high when you are writing second blank then after when you are writing maybe you can miss this blank so you should practice at home in the real exam you will get one um, erasable sheet and two markers okay so here everything i have written first i have missed i don't know what she said in that case in this situation definitely this situation may occur in your real exam but how you will handle if you are missing any filling the blanks no problem just be with the speaker otherwise you will lose other options as well and you don't know where is the speaker you missed one no problem focus on others so here i have written development but actually answer is developments if you are missing s e s e d in the filling the blanks you will lose your marks okay so make sure proof reading is very important you can see everything i have written but my spellings are different so here is the spelling mistakes one is one correct answer is equal to one mark you will get and this section includes writing scores as well even fill in the blanks summarize spoken text and write from notation these three sections are totally based on your listening along with writing so make sure if you are lacking with writing section you should focus on this you are doing you should understand why i am making this video because you will come to know where i am lacking if you are good in some uh, filling the blanks you don't have to practice much understand where you are lacking you know so this is the filling the blanks you can practice you can register on our website you can practice there are lots of questions we are updating on a daily basis right next topic is highlight incorrect word why i am not talking about these four topics as i told you these four to topics are not really important highlight incorrect word in which the speaker will speak you just have to find out the speaker's fault speaker will speak a different word you just have to click on a particular word and be with speaker i am telling you again this section has reading scores along with listening obviously and highlight incorrect word has negative marking if you are unsure about any particular word leave it don't try to take any guess you will lose your marks okay so be with speaker move your cursor as per, as per speaker's voice presence of mind if you will think anything um, in your mind you will lose your scores okay let's start remember two things first i want you to try and remember learning how to ride a bike maybe you have a scar you received when you flipped over the handlebars the next thing i want you to remember is how to ride a bike the reason i asked you to recall both of these memories is that they belong to two different designated realms of memory memory is a fluid and dynamic system that is exceedingly complicated to this end Psychologists have attempted to divide memory up to make it easier to study. There are two main categories. Explicit memory is a memory that can be intentionally and consciously recalled. This is your memory of riding a bike and falling over the handlebars and skinning your knee. See, I found four, but I left with one because I was missed that word. No problem at all. At all. At least I got four options correct. Getting my point. If I will choose this one inside, but I was not sure about inside or not. Here, you know why? Why I left this one? I was thinking something in my mind. That is the reason I missed with this word. Otherwise, I got full marks. That's why I was telling you your sh your focus should be on screen. Do not think anything. It's a listening part, and you can improve only by listening again and again. There is no template. There is no trick to. improve highlight incorrect word last section is right from repetition in the pt listening then we will jump to the repeat sentences and retell lecture i know you are waiting for repeat sentences and retell lecture as well in summary or in right from repetition it is same like repeat sentences in repeat sentences the speaker will speak and you just have to speak as same sentence 
here you have to write both modules are interlinked with each other you know both are similar but there is only one difference in the case of repeat sentences you just have to write but in the case of write formulation you have to write down it you have to speak in the case of repeat sentences you have to speak okay hello new credit cards will soon use fingerprint technology see there are various tips and tricks for write from dictation some students are writing initials before to start this topic i must tell you one thing you know your your friend will tell use this trick your another friend will tell i got 90 out of 90 by using this trick guys remember one thing doesn't really matter if your friend is using same trick on the basis of same trick you will be comfortable no it totally depend on your practice everyone has own capability some students are writing initials that's fine some students are memorize a proper sentence then write down it some students are copying the speaker's tone and then they are writing it totally depend in which you are comfortable you should find out if you are not comfortable with your friend's technique don't use it you will lose you will never improve yourself so you should find out the comfort zone for your from for, for you right so you can add an extra word after every word here is the trick let's take an example like uh, here is the question new credit cards you are not sure credit card or credit card you will write both there is no negative marking in write from dictation so you can write down make sure you will start your first sen first sentence with the capital and you will end your word with the full stop this is the main point and you can improve only by practice there are lots of techniques i have explained already same in the case of repeat sentences yes i'm talking about repeat sentences now in the case of repeat sentences the speaker will speak now as per my experience what you have to do if you will write the medical if you will write a sentence you you can write that's fine but time is very important some students are just writing but time is out they are unable to speak on time so make sure that's your wish as i told you you want to write you want to memorize some students are memorizing the half sentence first half and second half they are writing or vice versa right it's totally depend on you so as per my experience you should copy the speaker's tone and speak that is the best way for example The medical center is located near the supermarket on North Street. The medical center the medical center is located on the north east. See, remember one thing, there is no negative marking in repeat sentences. Try to speak more than 50 to 60%. If you are adding any extra word, no issue about it. There is no negative marking. You are deleting or removing whatever. There's no negative marking. The main funda is you should speak clearly. Some students are speaking very fast. they are thinking if we will speak fastly then we can get good scores no you are thinking you are right absolutely but think about pt software we we are after pt software we don't want to satisfy right we have to satisfy pt getting my point so try to improve and do not think you have to speak full sentence more than 60 to 70% The Romans left in 410 at the beginning of the 5th century. 410 in the beginning of 5th century. Try to cover more than 50 to 60%. See, there are two types of sentences, long and short. Uh the students are struggling in long sentences actually. Okay? So, what you have to do is you should uh you should try you should focus on short sentences in the real exam approximately 5 to 10 questions will come in which 5 to 7 may be short one two or three will be long you are speaking short sentences approximately 80 to 90% that's correct the problem will occur in long sentences if you are able to speak 60 to 70% that's okay no problem but make sure your other sentences will be correct
you can able to speak other sentences as well if you are not able to speak short sentences but you are expecting i will speak long sentences which means your level is low can you find your level is totally low so try to practice at least 40 sentences in a day numerous courses devoted to life sciences are listed in the prospectus you you can speak numerous uh, numerous courses life sciences in the prospectus not a big deal not a big deal so now moving to the retail lecture answer short questions are not really important we will not focus on this topic retail lecture same like summarize spoken text here you have to speak you can write down keywords as much as you can here you have to speak up to 40 40 seconds you have 40 seconds everyone but is interested in it don't think you have to speak up to 40 seconds actually you know you can cover your retail lecture 20 or 25 seconds that's fine but make sure you will speak with full confidence okay so let me tell you you just have to complete your retail lecture in just five or six line use any template doesn't really matter do not think if you will speak all the keywords then only you can get good scores no main thing is oral fluency pronunciation maintain your speed don't try to speak bit faster or lower okay so let's take an example the lecture was based on diet the speaker explained a growing concern and served in restaurants the speaker mentioned uncooked grains easy to prepare the speaker explained used grains left over and a grain salad hours before you to conclude this lecture is based on a very special fragrance and believe that it is reduced cholesterol levels that's it i'm just taking one example here spelling mistakes doesn't really matter obviously in the case of summarized spoken text you should focus on sentences or sentence formation here doesn't really matter you just have to speak keywords as well not a big deal but try to speak phrases in retail lecture is are am was were has have second form third form doesn't really matter main thing is your oral fluency right i hope you like my video if you like share with your friends subscribe my channel and if you are lacking in pte you can contact us my number is visible we are providing classes in hindi english and punjabi over the world you can choose your timings as per your job timings if you have odd shifts here in australia everyone has odd shifts someone is busy in the morning or any other person is busy in the afternoon so you can start your classes as per your timings best of luck